one thing I will tell you about marriage that people don't pay attention to. I want to marry her because I love her. Shut up. <laughs> I want to marry because I want to marry him for Dean. You're not marrying a beard. You're marrying a human. <laughs> it's a person. <laughs> you, could be, you're, you could be religious, pray five times, and you could still hate their guts. Just because someone is practicing their deen does not make them a good person in every other way. There are plenty of people that have an anger problem and they go to hajj every year. But they still have an anger problem. So what I'm trying to get at, Allah mentioned one thing about marriage that is on top. Number one, everything else is later. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِي تَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا لِي تَسْكُنُوا This is called لَامُ التَّعْلِيلِ He said he, gave, he made you into spouses for the purpose that you could find peace. For what purpose? Say it. You could find peace. And then two and three. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً wa. That's two and three. Number one is peace. Now, what does that mean? That means when you love someone, but they, sometimes you, love, you can love someone without respecting them. You can love someone without being honest to them. You can love someone without caring for them properly. You can love someone but hate their family of these things, you know what they do? They take away the peace. So even if love is there, peace is not there. And when peace is not there, the purpose of the marriage is gone. The purpose is gone. The purpose is not love. That comes from Allah. The purpose is not care, rahma. That comes from Allah. You, your purpose is to find peace. So when you're looking for a spouse, you're asking yourself, what is it that makes me peaceful? What is it that gives me calm? My wife, my husband, they should be my calm. When I talk to them, my stress goes down. My anxiety goes down. My anger disappears. Because all the storms in my life, my spouse gets rid of them. That's the kind of person I want to marry. Now, if you're talking to someone and already there's drama, there's already a temper, temper problem. There's already attitude. There's already difficulty in communication. And you're ignoring it because you love him too much. Then you're not going to have peace later. You're, just, you're simply not going to have it. This is actually the primary objective. And young men and women, when you get married, the most important conversation is going to be, what gives you peace? Tell me. What gives you peace? How can I give you that peace? And what gives you peace? How can I give you that peace? لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا So you can give each other peace. You give each other sakina. That's it. You know what most people suffer from? Marriages and drama. No peace. <laughs> no peace.